Hey everyone, let's continue on where we left off. We ran out of time. We're using the offset tool, using the offset tool to offset an irregular shape. So this was a collection of shapes that we just piled together on the ground and erased all the intersecting lines between them and we get this funky thing. Now you can imagine with the push-pull tool, and I can just show you, you don't have to imagine it, I can just see it. This could be your building. Aha! And this could be a walkway around it. Well, in fact, if you go over the top of this, this could be more than a walkway. You could offset this offset. And some of it could be like where you put bushes and hedges next to the building for some greenery. And then the outside part might be your walkway around it. So check this out. Go to the offset tool. And offset this offset that we made. And keep one closer to the building. Actually, let's make your sidewalk thinner. Go away and then we can we can treat this area right next to the building as if it were a series of bushes and such. And then this one is your sidewalk. Okay. And then if you wanted to create a sidewalk that actually goes in the building and as if you wanted to do a door here, that'd be a good idea. So wherever you want to put your door, you can just use the line tool to denote where you want that sidewalk to come in, that walkway. So... If you went to, and this is finding solutions to problems, what if I wanted to do this, what would I do then? Okay, we'll draw your door. I'm going to make it a double door with a line tool right down the middle. In fact, you could rotate a rectangle, half of that. and bring out a door like that. Oh, now your door is kind of open. Did that not finish? I guess I need to finish off that line. And you could right click that and erase it. And now you're open on the inside. And now it's totally open underneath because you used that material to pull up your building, but you could actually copy the top of this and place it right down on there. I can show you that some other time. Um, there's your open doorway. So now let's do a line to come out here and meet our sidewalk. And if you let SketchUp kind of allow you the understanding of what is parallel and what is on an axis line, like way over here, it's not straight. It's not straight, it's not, it's not even with it. It's not going totally straight, wham. Now it's parallel with the other one. Okay, cool. And you can delete this line here. Anytime you have a division of lines, you can erase that. And this becomes your sidewalk. Ta-da! This is where your geometry gets really complex. Even though it is more of just a kind of an origami, paper-thin wall structure, you can use offset to actually create the thickness of the walls on the inside that would be used to put drywall in and studs and all that sort of thing. I'll show you that in another tutorial that involves using many components that all move at the same time. It's a huge time saver, but you would use the offset to set the outside of your walls on the outside of the building and the offset distance to the inside walls that would be like your, uh, where you would hang a painting on the inside of the building. You could, let's see, push, pull this down real quick before we go out of time. Boom. And then there with that other offset, you've defined the walls, the three-dimensional walls, not the two-dimensional paper thin walls, but the three-dimensional walls of your building. Cool. I mean, honestly, this tool just gets so fascinating and so fun. We're only scratching the surface. I'll keep posting more tutorials on how to do stuff over time. But that's using the offset tool not only to create the semblance of windows, but walkways around irregular shapes or within irregular shapes. So fun. See you for the next one. Stay engaged. Stay interested. Stay curious. Stay.